Today I'm going to be repasting a graphics card and for this you'll need some thermal paste, a lint free cloth, a Phillips crosshead screwdriver and some thermal paste remover. So first before you get started make sure you ground yourself or use an anti-static wrist strap and also just so you know doing this may void your graphics cards warranty if yours has one. So let's make a start on this. So the first thing we want to do is separate the top part of the graphics card from the bottom. So this one has a back plate. Not all graphics cards have a back plate. If yours doesn't, you'll just see the bare circuit board. So we want to separate this circuit board from the rest of the card. So if you look through the card you can see which screws are holding this together and on this particular card these four screws are holding this together but just check on yours to make sure there's no other screws from this side this side and this side also if your graphics card does have a warranty you might have a sticker over one of the screws like this one. So if yours does and you're not concerned about your warranty just remove the sticker first so that you can get to the screw. So first we're going to take out these four screws to separate the card in half. So when it comes to taking the screws out just start with any of the four screws and then do the screw in the opposite corner just half unscrew them to start with and when you do take the screws out it's a good idea to put them down on a table in some kind of order so that you know where each screw should go because sometimes these graphics cards can use different size screws so just make sure there's no more screws holding this part and this part together and also pull out any connectors. This wire here is normally stiff enough to keep this connector the right way round so it'd be easier when you're assembling this graphics card again to know which way round this connector should go into this port here. So once you've taken out the necessary screws and a connector or two, just give the card a slight wiggle just to make sure there's no more screws holding the two halves in place. And also the paste, the old paste can get a bit hard if it's quite an old card. So just giving this a wiggle will break the paste. So next we can pull this up. So next we need to clean off the old thermal paste here and here. For this I'm going to use Arctic Silver's Arty Clean. Use bottle number one with the white top to drop some of its liquid on the GPU and the heat sink. This will help to remove the old thermal paste. Once that's done, leave it for about a minute. So the liquid has been on this for about a minute now. So now we can use the lint-free cloth to just wipe off the old paste. Then using bottle number two with the blue top, put some liquid on the GPU and the heat sink and leave it for about one minute. This will help to purify both areas. So the liquid has been on both surfaces for about a minute now. So we can just wipe it with a lint free cloth. So now we can add some thermal paste to the GPU. And the paste I'm using is called Arctic MX4, which is really good paste to help keep the graphics card cool. And this particular one is non-conductive. So in other words, if you spill some of this onto the circuit board of the graphics card, 
it won't make any difference. You can just do your best to wipe it off, but it won't affect the graphics card even when it's turned back on. So let's add a little bit of this to the GPU now. Okay, so we just take some of this thermal paste and just put a small amount in the middle of the GPU. And then using a spreader or even the lint-free cloth, we can spread it around the metallic part of the GPU. Okay, so I've spread the paste out. You only need a thin layer of paste on the GPU. You don't have to get an exact amount of paste on, as long as it looks something like this, and that'll be perfectly fine. So now we've put the paste on, we can put the graphics card back together, just line up the screw holes, then half screw in the first screw in one corner, then go to the opposite corner and half screw in that one as well, and then the other two screws, and then screw it down fairly tightly to make sure the GPU is right up against the heat sink. If your graphics card has any more screws to put back, put those back in now. And then finally, put the connector back in. So that's this graphics card repasted and ready to go. If you've got any questions, leave a comment in the comment section down below and I'll do my best to answer you. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.